Hello people. This is my second video today. And as you know, machines and machine parts are very heavy. And so I need a crane in here. And as you can see, maybe you remember my early plans to put a huge big steel eye beam in the roof where I could hang a chain hoist did not come true it was really really too big of a job to do and so I have come up with a new idea and you can see it here I have been thinking about this for a long time and now I'm presenting it to you. So you can see what I am thinking and I would really appreciate if you could help me if you have any better ideas than I have. But let me present you my idea. So the crane would be, I guess, I should call this a bridge type crane. So it has an beam, a beam on the top and two foot A shaped or triangle shaped foot or maybe A shaped like this for strength. So and it has a chain hoist in it that moves on the beam by these means it has a small carriage that has two bearings on each side and maybe some sliding pads on the sides so it slides on the beam and it also has in my plan it does have wheels four wheels one on each corner but it also has some sturdy rubber pads and how these two are gonna work because this lift is not gonna be extremely heavy maybe 100-150 kilograms um, I'm gonna put some old car leaf springs or some other spring steel right here and to them I will attach the wheels and so when I put a load on the crane and start lifting it the springs do their thing and the whole structure comes down a little bit and then the rubber foot come to ground and the lift becomes very solid and this way I can have both movability and stability Um, and I already have the crane, the chain lift, chain hoist. It is a one ton hoist. And speaking about dimensions, I am planning to make the beam, or actually uh, the maximum length that can be operated with the crane in sideways. It will be two and a half meters or eight to nine foot and the height of the whole thing is gonna be 2.2 meters or seven to eight foot and it should be higher um, but the problem is that the roof next to the walls is too low from the floor to the start of the roof it's only 2.2 meters and I would like the crane to be higher but that's the limiting thing and also I would like the crane to go under the upstairs floor and this height here from here to floor is only 2 meters so that's another problem I think it won't be completely necessary 
to have it come here as long as I can have have it working here. So what I'm thinking there's two problems with this and one is the hate problem what I just told you and another problem is storage. My workshop is small and a three meter by one and a half meter crane is gonna take a lot of room in here. So I need a way to store it. And I am thinking of making both or just one of these A supports removable. So I can lower one side of the beam to the ground and I can store the, the A arm somewhere. Maybe I can lay it against the wall. So it will take a lot less room. And another idea that I have for the height problem is if I make these removable, I can also make them telescopic so I can move the height up and down. I can have two square pipes with holes in them and a shaft to lock the position. I could make it go maybe as slow as 180 centimeters and maybe go up to 250 or 260 centimeters or even higher if I need to. But I think the problem with that it's gonna be not so stable. I don't think I'm gonna find two pipes that fit in together as well as they should. And what else? I think this is pretty much it. And also another possibility of making it simple but still high is making the side profile a little bit in the angle in an angle from here up the same angle as the roof has so it will come up and then have an angle right here and then go sideways but it will be difficult to make and also I don't think it's gonna be very stable in this axis because these supports also need to have a little bit supporting strength in this axis. So the higher these are, uh, the less stable they are. But of course I'm gonna have the same problem with the telescope system. Okay, I hope I made at least some sense in my explanation. Please take a look at this and let me tell you what you think. And about this beam, it's gonna be IPE steel pipe. Well, it's not pipe, it's a profile, I think. And it's gonna be IPE 140 or 160. I have made the calculations actually. Uh, I calculated it to one and a half ton pressure. And that should be maybe two times as strong as it is needed. I don't think I'm gonna do any calculations to these. I'm just gonna make them strong enough. So, I'm not gonna keep you any further. This video is even now a lot longer than it should have been. I hope some of you find some interest in this and post some nice ideas. Okay, thank you for watching and sorry for keeping you this long again. Bye.